What up, Fofo? Welcome back again on our new episode today. Uh, today, I'm gonna give you my game settings actually here. I know some of you just really confused, a lot of people really confused, like what is my settings in the game. So, currently, I just changed my settings. Before, I'm using all low settings except for the mesh and then uh, turn off everything, the blur, the vsync and uh, this is what I'm using before when I have a GTX 980 but currently I just changed my uh, GPU to RTX 2080 Ti so I tried to do some experiment on my settings so this is like my settings right now in this game and uh, if you like to do it for yourself, I guess it's good if you have a better graphics card. But if you have like maybe like low graphics or GPUs, I believe uh, go for the low settings is the best one. And uh, currently, this is what I'm using. I was gonna get the video. So, Fafos, I'm using actually full screen. Uh, with my Zui XL LCD that is my monitor I'm using a 1920 1080p 1440 Hz with a brightness of 50 field of view I'm using 80% and uh, vehicles 91 I actually didn't use a lot of vehicle because I'm infantry player and ADS field of view F ADS field of view I just using on because there was different between on and off if we're gonna press on uh, the zoom have less see it have a less zoom you can see that one there so less but if I'm gonna turn it off you can see the big difference though it's really near and it can zoom more also but I'm using the on the gun have less recoil and uh, and the motion blur zero percent uh, ADS DOF effect just turn it off and then uh, the custom color settings actually I'm using custom color settings uh, the squad color I change a little bit but the enemy color I just make it like much like like dark red so I can see it much easy and uh, on the chromatic aberration, I just turned off everything here. And let's go to advanced. Everything is off, guys. Just don't forget about it. And uh, this is what I do right now. This is actually a change uh, lately. Uh, DX12 enabled. So I just turned it off. DXR off. And NVIDIA DLSS, I'm actually using off. High dynamic range is off there with resolution scale 100%. Actually, I can go 120 or 150%, but I just like going for 100% to stick with it. And the frame rate limiter also, I'm choosing the 200. What is the reason? Uh, because I'm using a high GPU also. So if I'm gonna get lagged to 144 hertz, I can still lag to 144 hertz though, because that is my monitor limitation. But I just go for 200, so it's gonna boost more. And uh, the future frame rendering, currently I just turn it off. Vertical sync is off. GPU memory restriction. So I recommend to turn it off also, I think it's the best. And uh, this is what we're talking about, like people want to know the settings. Currently actually I changed almost my settings here. Uh, the graphics quality, the texture quality became medium now. Texture filtering is medium. Lighting and effects quality is still low. The pulse processes quality is medium. Which quality always ultra. Terrain is low. The undergrowth quality medium. Intelligizing is still high. I'm using it. And uh, the rest is off and low. And let's move to the uh, controls. Actually, I'm using almost default on the controls. And my sensitivity is I'm using currently 8% uh, with a DPI of 1800. So this is the one we're saying is uh, of the double tap to sprint slide. You better turn it off. So here the vehicle mouse aim sensitivity 10%. I actually did not use a lot of vehicles. So it's not actually useful. And let's get to advanced. So 
this is also important that a lot of people did not even know the coefficient you better use 133% or 177% so I recommend you to go 133% or 177 and the rest here actually didn't change anything so let's move to the gameplay so gameplay here this is what I'm using and the crosshair a lot of people just really confused what is the crosshair I'm using I'm using E orange with the nader side this is the what I'm using though with 96% glow and heat indicator I'm using almost default here too and texture opacity 50% a lot of people are really confused about my minimap so I'm using 88 on zoom radius and the minimap size 125% that is what I'm using and uh, for me it looks really great and uh, change something on my default icon opacity also I'm using 30% on the objective icon if you're gonna like ADS with it the ADS icon opacity I just go for 13% if I'm gonna use ADS so that's what we said earlier if there was an enemy and uh, sometimes the icon is just like oof in front of you so let's move to audio actually the important here I use my output configuration I actually use surround the sound preset with the headphones and the audio in the background off I just turn it off uh, for some reason because I stream and get some music so that is the reason and the, the voice is off I just like want to chill and turn it off <laughs> game volume re reduction just turn it off because somebody will gonna like talk on your squad if you turn it on the, the game sound will gonna get low and k-binds so k-binds okay let's go for the k-binds now the gadget actually I changed the gadget uh, the gadget number one and two I just switched to number four and three it just like my you know like what I used to the battlefield one like the dynamite is the first gadget but on battlefield five the dynamite is the two so I just like swap them I mean just go what you like actually for me I just want to use number four with it almost of them are default and uh, the leaning the leaning to right I'm using E I'm leaning while zooming is Q so actually leaning is only used if you're gonna ADS so that's why I just use E and Q and uh, there are all my default here crutch is X L control sprint slide X prone nothing has changed they're all default here except for this thing that I said earlier the gadget is the only one I change and some experiment on the danger ping <laughs> <laughs> that is for today Fafos if you have some question feel free to comment below and don't forget to like subscribe and turn on that notification i hope i'm gonna see you in the next one thank you fafas for the amazing support and peace